In this video, I'm going to show you how I clean my espresso machine with citric acid. Now, citric acid, you can get it at some grocery stores and uh, health food stores. Uh, it's a natural product. It's used in uh, things like Kool-Aid and stuff like that. Uh, a lot of uh, soda drinks, pops and that have citric acid in it, so it's completely natural. You're not putting chemicals into your machine. Uh, and you don't have any chemical residues. The most kind of residue you'd ever have is a little bit of citric acid, which I've never found to be the case. Uh, that is unless you're using a machine that has an aluminum boiler. Aluminum boilers get a little bit uh, uh, etched inside over time, depending upon water conditions, and it can uh, keep some of the citric acid uh, in the walls of the boiler, so you really gotta run a lot of water through to, uh, to clean it out. So here I have about uh, one quart of water, uh, one liter if you're in Canada. And uh, depending upon the uh, quality of water you have in your area, you may need to use uh, one or two uh, tablespoons of uh, uh, citric acid. I'm gonna use two, just to kind of show you. And you mix it up real well. The, uh, the water can be a little bit warm, it can be cold, doesn't really matter. Just uh, keep stirring until it's all completely mixed up. Got it all mixed up. And I'm just going to taste it here. I'll show you, oh man, is that ever tangy? My god. Uh, but yeah, it's perfectly natural, I'm not going to harm you. The whole thing goes in the top of the machine. And then you want to run water through the machine to get the boiler filled up with the uh, uh, citric acid solution. And you want to run it out your uh, steam wand as well so that it has a chance to get into all the uh, uh, little pipes and uh, valves that uh, goes through the steam wand. We'll fill the boiler up right now. On. Got a little bit of a leak on the uh, steam on joint. I don't uh, don't generally steam anything. I just make espressos. Okay, so that's about uh, 20 minutes later, and I'm just going to run uh, some more water through the boiler to uh, get out the water that's been sitting in there with the citric acid. Get it out and get fresh citric acid solution in. <laughs> And you just basically keep on doing that till uh, keep on running water through, uh, refreshing the uh, boiler with water until you're done with the citric acid. Some people have differing views on whether you have the machine on and hot while you're doing this or do it cold. I kind of go in between and, and have it warm but not completely uh, hot up to temperature. Uh, my thinking is, I mean, on, on this machine, it's a brass boiler and you're, you you can't hurt brass with a, a citric acid solution. Then you want to take fresh water, put that in your reservoir, and run a couple of reservoirs of uh, fresh water through to get all the citric acid out. Uh, you may have noticed that the, the water coming out of the machine uh, with the citric acid solution, you know, it's, it's got a little bit of a, a greenish, bluish tinge. I guess that's, that's what it took off. Uh, this, this machine gets cleaned pretty regularly, so there's not a lot of buildup. If you have uh, really hard water, lots of min minerals in it, uh, you're going to find, I mean, that water is going to be kind of grayish. Uh, you'll probably hardly be able to see through it when it comes out of there. Uh, and if you have a lot of hard water in that year, in your area, uh, you're probably going to want to be doing this every uh, every month, I would think. Uh, if you got really good quality uh, water, you know, maybe once every six months might do it. So there you have it. That's how I uh, clean my espresso machine using 
citric acid. Uh, I like citric acid because it's completely natural, uh, doesn't leave any chemical residues, uh, and uh, it's affordable uh, and easy to use. So uh, I hope that's been uh, helpful for you. And uh, yeah, go ahead, give it a try. Thanks.